the models that I teach, if you stay with that, I told you as a student, I told you to wait until the silver bullet forms. The silver bullet is highlighted in that fair value gap that when I'm usually doing a fair value gap for like for bullishness, it'll either be a, like a light blue or sometimes if I'm not using blue, it'll be green. If I'm looking for something that's bearish, it's just going to be some hue or color that's red. Okay. But I highlighted that fair value gap in the recording. That's the one that was going to be used for a silver bullet. And you can see it, it does, in fact, deliver it on that basis. It goes and runs up and goes higher. You're learning to be rule based. I have lots of rules. I have lots of models. I have lots of approaches to trading. I'm not limited to that. And because I've been away from the marketplace, I have to get myself back in an alignment. So if I see something, I'm going to, I'm going to get in it because I have 81 ways to get into a trade. So I, I don't have a fear of missing a trade. I never, ever, ever have a fear of missing a trade. You may not have all 81 of my entry mechanisms. You have a number of them, but you won't have fear of missing out because I'm giving you time-based setups. Between 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock in the morning, there is a fair value gap that will reach for inefficiencies or liquidity. That happens every day. Every single day, that will form. Between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock, every single day, every single trading day, there will be the same type of setup. So there's your PM silver bullet. True to form, I always tuck them in real deep in these lectures because the weak ones won't listen. They'll watch the people that want to make the five-minute trainers. <laughs> And they'll miss all the stuff that goes around that supports it. But the idea of fearing a missed move, there's no reason to fear that. How many, here, here's a question for you folks, listen. Pork, put the pork rinds down, okay? Listen. How many trading days next week, six months from now, how many trading days are going to have a 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock? And how many of them are going to have a two o'clock to three o'clock window of opportunity? I know it's a trick question, but sit down. You're going to have to prepare yourself for this one. But every single one of them, every single one of them have that. So why, pray tell, would you ever fear missing a move? That's, a, that's what a neophyte does. That's, what's, that's a hallmark. For someone that says, I, I, I don't want to be in this trade. I know, I know if I, if I, if I stay with it, I'm going to be a, a loss. But I know also if I get out, it's going to move. What, what? That's what they're talking to you with. They're telling you those things. They're literally telling you in no uncertain terms. They have no idea what they're doing. Why listen? Their results are not rooted in sound logic. It's just happenstance and i had nine minutes uh, nine months of happenstance initially i had that and it evaporated so you want to have logic you want to have sound logic as to why you're taking a trade and you want to be doing it with a rule-based idea that you've worked with for months that you have grown accustomed to when it doesn't work for you because you're floundering in the beginning you have no idea what you're doing but you're not beating yourself up because you're not losing money. You're not wasting the mortgage money. Your spouse isn't going to be upset with you because you've wasted some money that should have been used for some other things around the home. If you just listen to me, I'm going to keep you out of trouble. Your spouse can't be upset with you because you didn't waste any money. I'm not charging you any money. I'm teaching you a life skill that is absolutely going to benefit you in more ways than you realize. But you can't do things outside of what I'm telling you to do and what not to do. If you do, you're teaching yourself. The results are yours. And when you fail, don't ascribe that to me. The folks that listen to me, that do everything I tell you to do and what not to do and how to progress and practice and study and learn in a demo account. Stop listening to people complain about I'm teaching you in a demo account. Why doesn't this guy trade with a live account? Why can't you be as accurate as I am? How's that, how about that? Okay, let's start there. How come you can't be as accurate as I can? 
because until you get that fixed, I don't need to do anything else. So be comfortable with discovering who you are. Be comfortable with not knowing all the answers in the beginning because you'll learn them. You'll find your own unique approach to doing this with everything that everyone else has been exposed to with my content. You might not want to trade that 2022 model. You might use the optimal trade entry. You might just simply do a bullish breaker, bearish breaker. That's enough for you. During 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, if a breaker forms, okay, there's nothing wrong with that. You just won't get the better fill that the fair value gap would give you. So it's a matter of letting your own personal tastes and your own personality dictate what you're going to do. That way you don't feel pressed into a mold and have the same feelings that I had where I, I can only trade what this guy said in this book. And if it didn't make sense to me, I wasted all those times forcing something that wasn't fitting me. It didn't fit me. And that's why I'm, I'm practical. I know I'm not the best mentor out there. I'm not. I have always maintained that, that that's something I wish I was better at. But nothing out there is better than what my concepts do. There's nothing better than precise. Timely, precise, precision, sound logic, understanding liquidity, understanding the algorithmic macros that really starts these moves. They're predictable. And you can, you can rest assured that there's much more coming this year. And what I've already given you is more than you'll ever find in any other medium. No other teacher, no other resource, no other approach is going to get this much detail that removes all the things you're worrying about. You're worrying about what happens if this and what happens if that. How about what if you just listen, follow the rules, and let time do its work? Let's do that. Humor me, okay? Spend this year doing what I'm telling you to do and avoid the things I'm telling you to avoid. And then come at me with your questions. Because I promise you, you're going to see results that you can't appreciate now because you don't know what's coming. You don't know where your discoveries are going to be in yourself. And that many of them might be painful, but don't run from them. Don't hide from them. You don't want to be in a situation where you're trying to pray your way out of a, a situation that you put yourself into and your conscious is telling you, get out of it. Just simply get out. If you have the thought process of if I get out of this or when I get out of this, I know it's going to move. You don't know what you're doing. You're not content with the model. So you're greedy. You're being greedy. I know if I get out of this trade, I'm in profit right now, but I know as soon as I close this trade, it's going to run. If you vocalize that outwardly, if you type that into any kind of social media, that is the surest testimony that you don't know what you're doing. You have work to do. Refine that. Why is it that you feel that way? What are you lacking? Targeting. Time of day. Day of week. Simple. But you can't appreciate that until you wrestle with it. And then when you come to terms with it and you understand, oh, well, I don't have to be concerned about if I get out of it and it runs. Because the setups that I use, they're time-based. And they form every day within a 60-minute window. What am I worried about? Like you're never going to have another 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock period ever in trading. Like there's never going to be another trading day that never has that time window aspect. <laughs> Even on holiday schedules, there's a 10 to 11 because they shut it down at noon. Silver bullet. That's why it's named that. <laughs> But if you have a full trading day, you have one again between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. That could be your entire model. Why are you stressing? You're worried about stuff that has no real bearing on the success or failure of your future trading endeavor. 
You're making mountains out of molehills. Worrying about stuff that's eating up energy, time, and concern. When in doubt, stay out. When in doubt, get out. There's so many statistically provable, go back in time, don't just take my word for this. Go back and look at it. It's always there. Be content with enough. What's enough, ICT? Five handles in the beginning. The, I did not say stop at five handles and never get any more than that. My audience members are people that don't know what they're doing and they've never done this before. But you can do exceedingly well with five handles. Imagine if you just did five handles in the morning and five handles in the afternoon. And you did that hmm, twice a week. What kind of impact would that have? Just with one mini contract. We're not talking about five contracts or 15 contracts because the funded account says you can trade that many. What would that do for you? A lot. What would it do if you just got one of them a week and you had the discipline to stop and you were consistent with doing that? How's that failure? But see, in your mind, you're already saying that's not enough because you see me and other students doing way more than that. That's incorrect. That's toxic logic. You can't think like that in the beginning. That's what gets everybody in trouble. And you're going to find yourself in that situation where your heavens are like brass. And you're going to be praying, please fix this. Please help me get better at this. Please, please, please. Even atheists find a way, find a way to start talking to Jesus then. Completely avoidable. Completely avoidable. 